This is a video on the Charles Martin versus Glasgow fight for the vacant IBF belt. Now, a lot of people are expecting Charles Martin to to win this clearly. Uh, Charles Martin looks more of a champion than Glasgow. I have to admit. Charles Martin's also large, and a lot of people are expecting heavyweights these days that have got any potential of being a world champion to be very big, like a, a, a Klitschko or a, a Lewis. So, Charles Martin being 6 foot 5 with an 80 inch reach kind of fits that description of being a quite a large guy. And he also, to add to that, he's a power puncher. Charles Martin has a 87% KO rate right now as well. Which is just, he's a big puncher, just like Lennox Lewis was in Vitaly Klitschko and Vladimir Klitschko. So people are expecting Charles Martin to come away and, and beat Glasgow quite impressively. And, and probably knock him out as well. Now, Glasgow himself, he's never been defeated. They're both undefeated fighters. Both of them have draws on their records though. Glaskov has a draw against uh, Malik Scott, who is a definitely a more accomplished boxer than who Charles Martin had a draw with. Glaskov's only six foot three with a seventy six inch reach, so he's small for a heavyweight today. Uh, he's also light for a heavyweight to do it today at two hundred and eighteen pounds. Charles Martin at t almost two hundred and fifty pounds is is massive. Now, Glaskov. Is not a very big puncher. No one's expecting Glaskov to knock out Martin. If Glaskov's going to win this fight, it's going to be by decision. Charles Martin, on the other hand, does have the potential to knock out Glaskov and does have the potential to win by decision as well. Charles Martin, even though he's got power, when he has actually stepped up and fought someone like uh, Raphael Love, who's the best opponent Charles Martin has ever faced yet, is Raphael Love. Charles Martin didn't knock him out early on, like people expected him to. They had a, quite a competitive fight, but Raphael Love got fatigued later on in that fight, and that was when Charles Martin managed to dominate him with his superior conditioning and superior power in that last, very last round of that fight there in the and the, ref the referee actually got in and stopped that fight. Now, that does actually raise a bit of question marks around about Charles Martin's power. Yes, Charles Martin has got a very impressive KO rate against lower ranked opponents. But when he did step up and fought Raphael Love, yeah, he did stop him. But he didn't stop him as impressively as one expected him to. Raphael Love has several knockouts against him. Some opponents aren't very well known, but the well known ones are Eric Molina, who knocked him out in the, the sixth round, and obviously Joshua. Anthony Joshua, who everybody knows now, a uh, very big prospect from Britain, knocked him out, stopped him in the second round quite easily. So, yes, Charles Martin does have power, but it's clearly not at the same level as uh, Anthony Joshua or a, a Klitschko, or a Deontay Wilder. So, Glaskov does have the, the chance here. Glaskov um, is actually going to have to pass some tests for himself. Glaskov has actually never fought a power puncher at this level as Charles Martin before, with the kind of quality that Charles Martin has right now. So we're going to actually see if Glaskov has the chin to stand up to Martin's power. Because he is going to get hit by some shots. They both are, clearly. So if Glaskov has, is a robust enough to take some of Charles Martin's shots and get into the later rounds, Glaskov could, could win this. Charles, eh, Glaskov has been stopped in the amateurs before. Never been stopped as a professional. Just like I said, never lost as a professional. But he's been stopped in the amateurs before. So that maybe that raises some question marks about his chin. But maybe he's improved now, maybe he's more robust now, he's heavier now, maybe he's improved his defence and he's learned from that now. So maybe so maybe that's not going to happen. Maybe he's not going to get stopped. Just because he's been stopped in amateurs does not mean he'll be stopped as a professional. 
Another problem for Glasgow in this fight, this will be the he's never faced a southpaw at the level of Charles Martin either. So that, that's this is two new tests that Glasgow has got to face in the one go. Uh, Charles Martin's a southpaw, he's a good southpaw, he's a power puncher, so yeah, that Glasgow is going to prove a lot if he does win tonight. And he does get that IBF belt and beat Charles Martin. He's going to prove he's going to prove quite a few things. He's, he's going to prove he's got to prove he's got a good chin and he's got to prove that he's good against top level southpaws as well. Now, but the thing for Charles Martin is he's never faced an opponent at the level of Glasgow before. Glasgow is a proven top 10 opponent. Uh, Glasgow has faced Malk Scott. He drew against Malk Scott, but he, he looked impressive in that fight. He beat Steve Cunningham. He faced Steve Cunningham. Uh, it's a very controversial win for him. A lot of people think Steve Cunningham won that fight. But as in the records, he beat Steve Cunningham. Uh, he's clearly faced better opposition than Charles Martin before, and he's more, far more proven than Charles Martin is. And also, he has a far better amateur record than Charles Martin. He's got more depth to his record. He's been into Olympics. He's been into world tournaments before. Charles Martin has only been in the Golden Gloves competition before, and he didn't win that. He was runner-up, though, so that's, that's pretty good. But he, he never won that. And uh, same... With Glasgow, even though he's been in the Olympics, he's only a, a bronze medalist in the Olympics like Deontay Wilder. He's not an Olympic gold medalist like Vladimir Klitschko or Alexander Povetkin or Muhammad Ali. Glasgow is also a silver medalist for the World Tournament as well. So he has proven himself as an amateur and he's proven himself as a professional. So I think this is going to be a 50-50 fight. I mean, Charles, Charles Martin has the power... And he has a size. Glasgow, I think, is a more skilled boxer. I think he picks his punches better. I think he's far more accurate. He has he is a strong he is a strong opponent, even though he's maybe not been have the same kind of KO rate, he's physically strong if he gets into a, into clinches. He's got good footwork as well, and Glasgow does have good stamina, so stamina. So he's not going to tire out like Raphael Love did and get knocked out in the later rounds. He has the stamina to continue fighting well in the 11th, 12th round. So I see, I see Glasgow being the more aggressive fighter. I see Charles Martin having to fight in the back foot during this fight. And it's going to be close. Charles Martin can stop Glasgow and he can win by unanimous decision. But Glasgow has actually got to go in there and he's got to try and win this by decision. Uh, and I think it's going to be a really close fight. I think this is a 50-50 fight, to tell the truth.